This is called uh, the quick hands drill. And we do this daily. Uh, Bob's behind the service line, I'm behind the service line. We feed it in and we're playing the point out. You cannot hit a winner. You gotta go through your partner as hard as you can or go at their feet with the touch or you can go over them. So this is, uh, this is, simulates a lot of match situations where you're at net with another guy and you're trying to win the point. You're playing the cat and mouse game, trying to go through them or go at their feet or go over them. All right, see how it works. Yeah, so right here we're starting behind the line. Yep. You know, create a, a tough volley off the, uh -huh. and then you can close in if you want to. Yep, smart play. That's and tough. you made it. Did I get it? <laughs> yep. About an inch inside. What yeah. are you gonna do on that one? <sighs> yep, see, these points are pretty long because yeah. you can't put the ball away unless you go Mach 5 right through them. That was interesting. So what? Um, so what's the goal here? I mean, you're. You, it looks like ultimately he was trying to get it low to the other guy yeah, and at the I mean, feet. I think this drill shows that if you have the ball low, there's really nothing you can do. Yeah. You know, I can't win the point on Mike if he gets it down here. I'm gonna have to hit up, and then we're, we're I'm gonna or I'm gonna have to try to get it low and restart, get to a neutral position. And if I get it really low, I'll try to close. Let's do one more. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Good. Dan. Let me ask you before you guys go, one thing I noticed is that you're not closing immediately. You're kind of feeling yeah, it out. Why is that? What's the theory behind that versus feeding and immediately moving? And you know, why aren't you immediately moving forward? First of all, you don't have a lot of time. The guys at net, you're trying to kind of build the point. I mean, uh, a lot of times it's not low enough. Uh, you're shading it down lower and lower. And this is a, this is a point sometimes you win on the fifth, sixth shot. And yeah. so, uh, I mean, if it's really low and, it's, and you see him open in the face, and that's when you get yeah, all in that. And Mike just lobbed me. You know, uh -huh. it's 110 degrees. Yeah. I don't want to run back, I don't have to run back there again. So yeah, I mean, he, he beat me on the lob already. Yeah. So I'm honoring that and I'm all just right. hanging back a little bit. Yeah. So, so basically, you're waiting. You know, if you hit that volley and you realize it's going to go low, that might be when you close. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you if you get in an offensive position, that's when in doubles you always move forward. All right. Forward. So, and in, in, in the context of this exercise, offensive position means ball is low in the strike zone, and not moving. Waste. It's got to be moving. It, it can't be just a low bunt drop shot. Because then be. the lob would yeah. would be a result. All right. Great shot. What about ah, that one? Yeah, go, go, yeah. go, go! I got it. Preacher. I got him. Was that a was that a right-handed volley I saw in there for the lefty? I don't plan on that one. But you gotta have it just. You in throw case. it out. Yeah. You know what? That wouldn't have worked, though. We've been talking about it. That wouldn't have worked if you weren't right here on top of the exactly. on top of the net. So there you go. More evidence. You gotta be forward because the geometry works in your favor there. Yeah, and this is a good one to have an IV on hand. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys, we should stop capture. I think because we're gonna <laughs> let you guys get a drink of water. So <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like that drill and you want to get your hands on Bob and Mike's complete practice program, then you should check out the doubles playbook here by clicking the link in the description below. Because Bob and Mike's complete practice program is a bonus you get. It's one of three bonuses you get when you pick up a copy of the doubles playbook. And these are the drills Bob and Mike did daily to make them the greatest men's doubles team of all time. And these drills are something you and your team, your doubles team can do in your practices. So if you scroll down and click the link in the description, I'll take you inside the doubles playbook and Martina Navratilova is gonna personally show you her all time favorite play 
called The Prognosticator. And then if you like what you see, awesome. You can pick up a copy and you will get Bob and Mike's complete practice program as one of three awesome bonuses.